how's it guys? Uh, maybe a bit bright in the shot, just can't see at the moment. Um, so, this morning, uh, Prashin is here by the way. Oh. Is, uh, Welcome back, back guys. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back guys. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Joburg, Prashin. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Prashin is, is here for our trip, uh, our next trip to the Kruger. But uh, as per usual, before we go to the Kruger, we set off on an adventure, a mini adventure. So it's, um, you know, the middle of May now. And um, one of the seasonal things um, that we do here in, in Johannesburg and um, up in, well, up in the Gauteng region is that um, during April and May and even June, um, there's this uh, farm that we come to. So this is an aloe farm that um, will sell aloes to the public. And um, in you know May June, the aloes are all flowering, and uh, you get a lot of um, sunbirds that come through. Um, not many species i think there's generally about three species of sunbirds that come through uh, the amethyst and the white-bellied are the most um, abundant but uh, you also get uh, i think it's the greater double-banded um, sunbird that comes through um, so yeah we we drove through from johannesburg this morning it's about an hour out from johannesburg and it's just um on uh, the road uh, between uh, Sun City and Johannesburg, just past Hatapiersport Dam. Um, and we've been shooting for about two hours now. We got here just about eight o'clock and it's heading towards 10 o'clock now. And we've uh, seen a few sunbirds. They, um, the weather actually isn't playing along. It's a bit windy, so it's uh, actually quite cold. Um, shots this morning wasn't the greatest idea but uh, yeah I should have also put some lotion on my legs um, but yeah so we we do come through um, you know every so often to to get it this is uh, my fourth visit here and uh, Prashin's I think second visit oh we also managed to get to the sort of the bank that the uh, white-fronted bee eaters are actually um, living in here on the aloe farm. There's about a hundred of them and um, they actually um, burrow into holes on the side of the bank and um, they live in those holes. Generally they do move uh, further north when it gets colder but I guess uh, with the aloes in flower there's a good source of um you know flies and bees that come to feed on the aloes and the uh, beaters themselves can then you know gorge themselves on on these uh, bees and flies that come to feed on the aloes so there is a colony that is on this farm for multiple years now and uh, they quite active so we got a few pictures of them not uh, too many and then i think the uh, temperature got a little bit better for them and they flew off to go and um, you know catch their flies and bees and other insects uh, in the bush surrounding the farm so yeah um, it's a good uh, location if you want to come and you know spend the morning get some uh, nice shots of the bee eaters the um, sunbirds we also saw some bronze mannequins and a few weavers and uh, previously I think we have also seen wax bulls oh and I've seen um, you know uh, crested barbets here as well I think uh, people have also seen like owls and stuff that also come through here sometimes because there's you know so many um, birds around you could also get you know some raptors that come in um hunt them but yeah uh just a quick trip and uh we got a few photos and i'll i'll add them to the video but a nice uh you know morning drive 
um, and uh, you know a few hours shooting um, some very pretty birds.